Uh, my name is Martha Gronneveld, and I teach from the Chester Community College in Connecticut. We started using Alex, um, I started in 2009 when I was doing the bilingual class. And then we went on the Adobe Design for Developmental Courses, and we implemented the Empowery model, and that's when we started using Alec, where all the developmental courses were implemented using Alec. So we moved from a traditional class, 25 students per class, to 50 students per class. Now, traditional class was just one instructor, lecture twice a week, an hour and 20 minutes per class under that we designed using Alec. The students are required to be in the computer lab three hours per week, plus two hours outside of the computer lab. Um, it's a teacher, it's a teaching assistant, and two peer tutors per course or per class. Alec has affected the courses, so in, this in this case, developmental courses, um, improving their skills. Um, the most that I had noticed is Students do know the material, some at some point in their life they have seen it, but they forget. So doing the class using Alec is helping them to refresh those skills. And a perfect example is uh, this week, we started classes in January 28th. And as I was leaving yesterday to the airport, one of my teachers said, I need the class. And I said, what do you mean? It's just the students started a week ago. I have one student who finished all the material for Intro to Algebra and I want to move into Intermediate Algebra on the Alec. And that is a perfect example where students are being affected using Alec because they can move on their own pace. Either they move slow, they move with the class, or move faster. If students were moving slow and we can target them using Alec. We've run the report. And my class, I have two classes in the computer lab and I encourage every single teacher, run the report, a student under 10% of the initial assessment, send an email and group them by table, and then you concentrate on those skills instead of lecturing the whole class in something that maybe they don't know or they do know. Is the structure in the class different? Every single instructor, I give the syllabus, I give the course, I give the homework, I give the test, and I block the templates, so they, won't, they are not allowed to change anything on the template. They are not allowed to change questions on the test, uh, so every student are getting the same material across the college. Um, the same way I, I set up the gradebook, every single student is graded the same way. Uh, no partial credit, no calculator. So the students talk to each other and they can say that Mr. Murphy is giving extra points for turning in paper because every single one is graded the same way. Uh, and I think that's a big impact with Alec. They are in the process of collecting data to see how they're doing in college level which at this point is looking good, we went up. It's not a big percentage, but as long as we are increasing, and that's what we want to see. And um, before we were 30% of students starting at the lowest level of uh, elementary algebra, 30% uh, make it to college level. So right now we are 32, which is not a lot, but I think it's a lot. It's this two percentage is maybe two students more, so that's good. And um, we are going to keep tracking the students and see how they do in college level. I use Alec as well for pre-calculus, when I teach pre-calc. And there I use it different at the computer lab. There I use it for homework and make up text and take on quizzes. And as I'm talking again, I use Alec for like remedial skills. Um, students coming to pre-calc, we assume that they know how to do those lower skills, but that's not the case and I use Alex to bring in those students. I think the biggest strength of Alex is adaptive learning. And again, you can give an assessment to students, you can give a test to students, you can assign homework to students, but adapt the learning of each single student. I, I, I don't think I can ever do it. And I haven't found a software up there. We, uh, we, our college, when I say we, I say my college, we went through different major computer um, mathematics software. Before using Alex, I was doing a competitor mathematical software, and uh, it did not provide adaptive learning as Alex is doing it. That is the biggest strength with Alex, because on the assessment, yes, you can do assessment in the class, you can assign homework, but there's no way that you can actually do adaptive learning one individual at a time. 
Uh, and that is something that is kind of prescribed with ALEC. So every single student is going different stages, every single one is doing something different, and that is a strain for ALEC. Students can't not uh, fake it. If a students are saying, oh, I know that, why is going back onto my pie? I say, okay, let me request another assessment. And when I do that, it's true now that some of them actually are lower than when they were before, because now they are doing it in the computer lab, supervised, and nobody's helping them, they don't have a calculator. So all the adaptive and um, all the if and after that Alex have behind is just amazing.